Hello, this is my second video regarding the Nexus One, the new Google phone released in January. And again, I just want to take you around a few of the uh, features uh, that are in the phone itself. In the first video, I just played a bit around with the UI itself and tried to demonstrate how fast it operated. And now what I want to do, I just want to take you through some of the uh, Android 2.1 features that you're going to see. Okay, so first thing I want to do, I want to show you how you scroll the home screens. Now anyone familiar with Android will know that it's just normally just a matter of just flicking through left and right um, as you move across the various home screens. And Android 2.1, and unlike the earlier Androids, has actually got five uh, home pages to play around with. If you notice on the left and on the right, uh, you'll see a couple of little dots on each side. Now if I just move one screen across, you'll notice that's gone down to one dot on that side, three dots on this side. Each dot corresponds to a home page or one of the home pages. Now you can scroll across, and of course if you're right the way on the last one um, to the left, then you'll need to, if you want to go to the extreme one on the right, you could scroll through five times. But another way would be just to touch and hold those dots there, and it'll bring up a facsimile of the five screens that you can see there. So I want to go straight to the home page, I just touch that screen and it'll take me there. And again, um, you can move to any way, it's just basically a shortcut to move around uh, the UI, uh, the, the various home pages. Okay, another way to get back to the home screen from anywhere, rather like the iPhone in some respects, just press the home button there, just press and hold, and that'll take you back to the, the, the uh, central home screen. Okay, next I want to show you is one or two of the applications. In this case I want to show you the gallery. So again, just press and hold, there comes, comes the gallery. Uh, I've only got a few pictures in there at the moment. Uh, this is the camera gallery, and as you can see there are four pictures in there for me to play with. If I touch, that'll then present the uh, gallery to me. I can either go to any, any individual picture or bring the screen up. Now again, anyone who's familiar with using touchscreen phones, uh, iPhone and some of the earlier Androids, We'll, not, we'll also remember that you can just scroll across the various pictures. Um, that will bring them up. Okay, um, you can do the usual zoom in, but there is no pinch with this one. Okay, so all you can do is move around the screen. Uh, this is the American uh, version of Android 2.1. Uh, apparently, the uh, the UK one will or the European one will have pinch. Uh, or uh, pinch and squeeze. Uh, there's a slideshow button. Again, just press that, and it'll just go through uh, through play, play the slideshow to you. Okay, that's the gallery application. Again, um, to come back out. Can't remember. Right. Okay, just go down. Okay. Um, now the other thing I want to show you is the apps. Now, if anyone remembers the earlier Androids, uh, there was a little uh, icon down there you used to drag up the screen. That no longer works. Okay, instead you get this little square checker bar down here showing away. Again, just press and it will bring all the apps up. Um, the apps will scroll as you would expect them to. And quite a nice scroll this time. Quite stylized. You can see them going up and over and into the distance. Okay, and again, the apps are quite quick to load. Um, take mere moments to load up. Uh, let's find something for you. Where's it gone? There we are. And again, the back button will take you, this one here with a little arrow, that will take you uh, back to the previous page. And the back button will just page through, page by page by page. Okay. Now, uh, the last thing I want to show you is the uh, voice search. Now, the Android 2.1 and the uh, Nexus 1 uh, handset have been optimised for... Uh, voice and pretty much wherever you can type um, there is the ability to uh, use your voice instead. Um, now it does rely on a network connection so if you don't have any data net data connections where you are you won't be able to use the uh, the voice facilities. So again we have the universal search bar sitting at the top of the screen there. It doesn't have to be there you can choose whether to have it or not. Again I've just pressed the microphone on the right hand side that will bring up Google Android Phone. And you can see there it's correctly found Google Android phone and presented me with a list of articles. And if I want to go into one of those, then I can just press the, the link and it'll take me off. Okay. 
Okay, that concludes my presentation and I hope you enjoyed it and you'll come back and visit me for a few more. Thank you for watching.